Hey y'all, hey, 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 y'all. Hi. So listen, y'all know I am in the midst of Hurricane Helene aftermath. Okay. So um, I just wanted to get back on task and ensure that while I have the chance, I'm going to get some videos posted. We don't have Wi-Fi. We don't have power. We still don't have water. But by God's grace, I was able to take a hot shower because I've been taking cold ones, y'all. I was able to take a hot shower and charge my phone to 100%. So I said, let me go ahead and get some videos done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read right from my paper. This one message the Holy Spirit showed me or gave me, he, he said to me, allow it to make you not break you. Allow it to make you and not break you. In order to love who you are, you cannot hate the experiences that shaped you. That is a quote by Andrea Dijkstra. Dijkstra is spelled D-Y-K-S-T-R-A. You're weak if you let someone put something in your ear to poison your loyalty to someone who has always been loyal and real with you. I don't know where that quote came from, but I was saying this specifically as it relates to God. If, if we are so weak that saying, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. If you allow, just like the serpent poisoned the mind of Eve in the garden and say you won't surely die. And I reference this quite often. God's grace is sufficient. His mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness toward us. He is so faithful to us that um, we should just want to be faithful and loyal to him. Okay. Um... Never betray yourself this way. The three Hebrew boys would not bow to idols, so they were mocked and thrown into the fire. This is found in Daniel 3, 23 through 25. Their posture was, if I perish, I will perish. But no matter what, God is still God. Esther had to risk losing the promise for the restoration of her people. Haman's conspiracies were for her destruction, but was an ultimate test of her faith. Just because you're being tested on every side, Haman, Haman would have it to be so that she would have just given in to what seemed to be a threat and to her well-being. But she said, if I die, let me die. Because in that time, you were not to come to the king. You were not to question the king. You were, as a wife, you, you were to be almost seen and not heard so she was stepping out of the boundary just like Vashti did the the queen that preceded her she feared that she would be removed from her seat just like Vashti speaking when not spoken to but she said if I perish let me perish because for the sake of my people being set free I'm going to do whatever it is that I wanted I need to do Naomi and Ruth endured loss after loss after loss that landed them in poverty, but humility and obedience brought them breakthrough greater than they could even imagine. We know the story of Naomi and um, Naomi and Ruth and, and Opa. Uh, Naomi had sons that Opa and Ruth had married, and they had been previously married before. But every one of their husbands died, and they were put into a position just like um, we know the story of Cinderella's stepmother just like Cinderella said but she, Naomi wasn't like that she was a woman who sought to please God she was a wise woman who was able to instruct daughters who did not even she didn't even produce from her own conception in her loins on how to be a Proverbs 31 woman <clears throat> and, and, and ultimately they received an inheritance houses that were weren't even built by their hands that weren't even intended for them they were able to enjoy the abundance and of restoration joseph moses david jeremiah peter paul the woman with the issue of blood who didn't even have a name but her story was recorded in scripture because of the endurance it made her a worthy example for us and we all know job's story and testimony job was tested in every way possible you name it from his possessions to his um well his health 
mental health to his physical body job was stripped of everything he could possibly you could possibly imagine or what we would require a, a necessity and what we know is a necessity in this damn time twice as much he was restored use the stones to build a house i love you guys so very much I love you guys so much. God loves you better, best, and the absolute most. I'll see y'all on the next video.